folks, it's Rick Whittemore. Time for your May 2024 Austin real estate market update. Oh Is it going to be a cruel summer? We will cover that here in just a minute. I also have some really interesting info at the end of the video where we're gonna kind of compare how Austin's doing to the Texas Triangle cities of San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas, Fort Worth. So some pretty interesting info there too. So let's talk about monthly inventory. Right now, monthly inventory is sitting at about 5.75 months of inventory. So what that means is if no other homes come on the market, it would take close to five months for all the homes that are currently on the market to sell. So it's kind of a nice barometer to let you know where things are at. All right, in that vein, total number of listings. Right now in the Austin market, we have a 13 year high in the number of listings. So we have just under 13,000 listings on the market right now. That is great news for buyers, lots to choose from. You can make a good deal and you can really make sure that you're getting the home you want. That kind of compares with where it was during the COVID months where there was about 1,500 to 1,800 homes on the market. Uh, so certainly a whole lot more to choose from. So great news for buyers there. Number of homes sold. So this is kind of creating some of our high inventory issues. Not a lot of folks are buying homes right now, likely due to higher interest rates and just kind of concerns about where Austin home prices are going. Is the market crashing? Are prices continuing to go down? We'll cover that in a second too. Uh, but you can see here, number of home sales in the Austin area, still pretty steady, still on right in the kind of the same ballpark as most of the years, except for the kind of the two COVID years there. Now we get into pricing. So interesting stuff here. The median home price. So you can see right here, median home price is kind of steady eddy. Really the last four months, home prices have either gone up over the previous years, or like it was, uh, what was it? April, they came in just a hair under. And I took a quick, quick peek at how June is gonna be looking. And right now, as it stands, June is gonna come in with a higher average and median price sold than May. So let's get on to our Achilles heel, our good old friend interest rates. So uh, as of yesterday, rates were sitting at about 7.02. So I think they're gonna stay pretty steady, kind of in that seven, maybe high sixes to low sevens for the next uh, month or month and a half. Uh, the Fed doesn't meet again until the end of July. Uh, they will probably not lower rates then either. There's a good chance for that. Um, so rates will stay, probably they'll start feeling a little better. The Fed will probably signal like, hey, things are starting to look a little bit better where that trend is continuing. So we're getting a little more optimistic. Uh, that'll affect rates positively. Now, some interesting information. I've been wanting to know how is Austin market comparing to the other Texas Triangle cities? Are we are we taking a big hit? Are we taking a beating here? Or are we kind of in line with our, where everybody else is at? So I wanted to take a look at a couple things. So here's home inventory for the last 12 months for each of the big four Texas Triangle cities. So you can see San Antonio is actually taking a little bit of a uh, bigger beating than we are with months of home inventory. So San Antonio has a fair amount of inventory on it, followed by us. Our inventory is still fairly high as well. And Houston is doing pretty good, and Dallas-Fort Worth area is actually doing really well right now in terms of that. And then you get into pricing, so I was a little bit curious about that. So what is the average price in the Texas Triangle Cities for the last 12 months? So here we go. Austin obviously has the highest average price, has for many, many years. Um, it is the most desirable place in Texas to live, so that's why it's the most expensive. Uh, so you can see San Antonio, their prices have kind of fluctuated a little bit, um, typically where they're at, but nothing really crazy in the San Antonio market. You can see in the Austin market, things are kind of back on the uptick that we've talked about. Um, home prices, certainly in Houston, are a good value if you want to live in Houston. So you have that. And then DFW home prices are kind of showing some nice gains too. Um, so DFW is arguably the strongest market in Texas right now of the big four, followed by Houston, then Austin, and then our good old friends down in San Antonio. So that is your update. So is it going to be a cruel summer? I don't think so. Any questions about the real estate market, Austin? Otherwise, you want to dive into particular neighborhoods, I would be happy to chat. Thanks.